Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Michael T. Bradley. And J. Wilfred Neville. And we're back to play more Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Father. So uh, last time, we sexually harassed our employee, our ostensibly Asian employee. <laughs> and we talked to our grandmother for a really long time, right? Yeah, that was pretty much... Oh, we learned some German one word yeah. at a time in a German English dictionary that is not alphabetized. That's right. <laughs> one <laughs> painful, painstaking word at a time. And for some reason, we put the book back on the shelf after each word that we learned. That's right, because that's how you learn foreign languages. <laughs> and uh, now, now I think we're ready to go to the police station where we're maybe helping out the police or they're helping us out to write a book. Not entirely clear yet. Yeah, apparently we're writing a book about an open case, which seems a bad idea for a variety of reasons. But in <laughs> any case, let's go ahead and jump back into it. What do you say? Yep, let's do it. Oh, we can go jump in the Mississippi River. That's nice. And we got all sorts oh, of... Oh, there's a weeping angel up there, I saw. All sorts of offensive voodoo imagery. I assume <laughs> offensive. I don't know. Gabriel is standing in the lobby of his friend Moses in prison. Good old Nana narrator. <laughs> what other game gives you Nana narrator? I don't know. There's got to be one though, right? I like it. I like that Mosley owns his own police precinct. He's well off. Um, maybe Gabriel Knight too has Nana narrator. Oh. That's a good question. I don't know. We should watch the playthrough. And they're also rich enough in most of these precincts that they can just throw away snakes willy-nilly. Yeah. That, there was a dumb snake at the Mardi Gras, I guess. There's a photocopy machine in the office area. That was not as exciting as my last line. of the police She's not bad. That makes me ruffle my hair. <laughs> hey, nice precinct. <laughs> I try to keep it up. It's my own. Hey, it's a beignet guy. Great, I'm starved. Let's go get a hot dog. Apparently, that's not a beignet. <laughs> Beignets and hot dogs are different, yeah. Uh, I don't know what a beignet is. It's like funnel cake for fancy people. Mmm. Kind of fancy people. We're, we're now gonna watch them all go outside and get beignets, and then we're gonna watch them <laughs> sit and eat them. Uh, I assume we're gonna go, like, mess with shit. Or, no, because he didn't... Why did he bother saying stay put? <laughs> just doesn't make any sense. Anyway, I gotta continue furiously, furiously uh, doodling here. I'm obviously not writing anything real. <laughs> Thanks. Did he just sit on his beignets? <laughs> Got a second officer. No one will be admitted what during the I dripping beignet for? buying scene. Tell me about yourself. Tell me Tell any me. little thing. <laughs> that Sergeant Freck wine. So he's not Mosley. He's not Mosley. Right? You got a problem with that? Not at all. I don't give a frick. <laughs> I'm here to see Detective Mosley. He's out of the crime scene. Sorry. I, I love how when we get a point, it's like a sad little child's music. Crime scene information is police confidential. We don't need any more looky loos and are probably already there. Looky lose. <laughs> Desk Sergeant Frick on, looks a lot like Wilford Brimley. Yeah. I, know the I can't talk anymore. I got the diabetes. <laughs> that don't make it public information. Back off. So this is a new voodoo murder then. In all hey, caps. Say that. <laughs> right? Read all about it in the papers tomorrow, I'm sure. Please tell me where the crime scene Pretty is. Pretty please with boogers on top. You keep it up. Oh and god, he's like a drunk right ex here. at 2 a.m. <laughs> I was supposed to pick up some photos from Detective Mosley from this. Is that right? And who are you? My name is Knight. Gabriel Knight. 
Yeah, I got something for you, all right. As soon as you're done talking, I'll give it to you. <laughs> that was strangely homoerotic. <laughs> Frick, good Catholic name. <laughs> this fall on CBS. I, for the love of God, Gabriel, we're getting nothing here. Just exit and get the shit from Mosley. What can you tell me about New Orleans? I'm glad as hell it's not Mardi Gras. All the snake cleanup that that entails. And I do mean stick. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a shot in the air? <laughs> Can't say that I have, but it sounds what dirty. The? Like, you brought her, you shot in Jaeger. <laughs> On his, his little, oh, it's gone you. now. His Every little badge night. looks like a little man, like, waving his arms. <laughs> Thanks. Blink, 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 blink. Look, we didn't have to do it. We already got the point the for asking about it. is a plain Manila one. It feels pretty light. Mosley skimping on his monthly payments. You're gonna have to the break his knees. The <laughs> name written on it. Misspelled. Well, how? Like, funnily misspelled? Or, like, Mosley is illiterate? The manila envelope and finds two photographs. Oh, good. We got a picture of a dead person. Thanks, Mosley. One of the photos from Mosley is an official voodoo murders crime scene shot. Shot. Get it? Shot. <laughs> okay. I like that in both of these we're looking at a picture of the picture. But it's all right. Crooked. Yeah. It's artsy. <laughs> Okay, well... Try to use the tweezers on the pictures. Try to tweeze everything you get. Yeah. That's how these games work. It's weird that he left those pictures with no, like, context. Oh, there's... Yeah, you're right about the offensive <laughs> imagery on that <laughs> yeah. map. A wide walk provides a pathway around the square. The circular square. square Screw that, let's go busking. <laughs> <laughs> you like the local performers, right? A blues band entertains on the lawn. Now that's oh, is that the hot lady cop? I don't know. A police is just... officer is either off duty or patrolling the park. Oh, I guess so, yeah. Oh. A cop has driven his motorcycle into the park. Something Gabriel would probably never get away with on a motorcycle. I could just sit here and listen to Nana narrator the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then the police radio said, anybody seen Joe? Good day, officer. <laughs> yeah, you too. Keep moving. Move your hips, Ma. Boy, that sure yeah, is real blues. Not now, buddy. I'm busy. <laughs> I should have noticed that. Thanks. Yeah, right. I I feel like this radio is trying to tell us something. <laughs> I'm sure it's just a coincidence. It can't possibly be important. So, are we gonna go start a fight to get the police officer's that attention? Go just beat the shit out of the jazz band <laughs> until the police officer comes over. I love me some 8-bit jazz. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be an 8-bit marching band in the other quarter. Holy shit! <laughs> we should go sexually harass that a chick. Cajun band, inventive as always with their instruments, <laughs> is having a good old time on the lawn. Funny how catchy that toad tapping can be. It got me in trouble with my old man back in 74. <laughs> Let's go sexually harass the goth mime. You white-faced geek! You want to eat my fist? A bronze statue of Andrew Jackson. Seems a totally appropriate response to a mime. <laughs> it's one of those mimes. Oh boy. Even not a narrator can't really find anything good to say there. 
go use the tweezers on him. <laughs> oh, oh, stranger danger. Hey, stop picking on me. I'll tell my dad. You know, the mime's not good at much else, but he's really good at running away and cowering in shame. <laughs> oh, it's quiet over here. Well, hell, apparently I'm qualified to be a mime. Beats out a haunting rhythm on a large African drum. I'm really glad that sentence ended with drum. <laughs> Just punch the mime. Nope, sexually harass the police officer. Come on, come on. That's how that's how this riddle has to be solved. <laughs> well, I'd never leave me alone, you. You you man. Uh is that like a feminist backlash thing? Maybe. That's about the worst thing I can think of to call a person. Not quite the level of train wreck. Uh, the mime appears to be following us. I'm terrified. It's a little creepy. Is he is he supposedly imitating our walk? Because if so, he's not very good at this job. Yeah. I, uh, this is harassment. Hey, cut that out. Stop defecating on the lawn. It's a good thing the cop is white, or that would be very racist. All right, mister. You want some of this? <laughs> wow, that cop was easily distracted. And now we're you going to... You get a point for... Gabriel picks up the headset and listens. You get a point for messing with police property. <laughs> we should get a point every time we commit a felony. Yeah, no kidding. You murdered a mime. Do, 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 do. <laughs> what? <laughs> Seriously, that's your first. That's your first hypothesis. <laughs> that's just a little game my husband and I play. Sorry for sharing, uh, oversharing. Me. Hey you, get away from that bike. Sorry. I'm gonna chase you now, because apparently that's how I react to anything. <laughs> well, that was a worthwhile four four room set for one stupid puzzle. But we learned where the crime scene is. Yeah, for God's sake. The crime scene team is still at the site. Gabriel parks a bit out of the way and walks over to avoid acting <laughs> General confusion. Uh, I don't know. I guess somebody's dead. What? <laughs> um, I'm so confused. There's like four people. Oh, God. Gabriel's here. Go, go. Just go. <laughs> don't say anything. Just go. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't a... Is that Mark Hamill too? Me? Uh, stupid. How'd you find I don't know. Who's Mark oh, Hamill supposed to play? Oh, hell. All right. For the book. Go and dig in here. But don't tell anyone I like to see this, huh? Who's gonna be Nana, isn't it? It's another one. You can see <laughs> same ammo, no freaking clue. Frick, frick. Huh? Uh, uh, that's a clue. <laughs> that's disgusting. Isn't this a rather uh, public area for this kind of thing? Oh, this is Mark yeah, Hamill. Who the hell is Frick? <coughs> oh, I don't know. Frick's a nobody. Jim Cummings. Uh, nice of them to cast porn actors. Eh? <laughs> now, who the hell is that? Uh oh. Who will it be? Boss fight. Mystery guest, sign in, please. Oh, it is. It's not a narrator. <laughs> But young not a narrator. Why is her mouth open in shock? Good day, Miss Getty. What's it's going Anne on? Getty's. It's Anne Getty's. Detective Mosley, <laughs> man. We've got a little problem here, but nothing for you to be concerned about, Miss Getty. I see. Thank you, Detective. 
and good day. There is like a blood spattered corpse <laughs> right by his feet. Nothing to be concerned Ooh, about. Let's see here. Bird kid, if that's Molly you get, she's about as far out of your reach as the moon. Probably on her way to meet some guy with a yacht right now. That yeah, was yeah. a car, not a yacht. The well, lake's a popular place for Pendrick. <laughs> if she's out here a lot, maybe she saw something or heard something. Or Man, killed nobody something. Nobody ever sees or hears nothing. I told you. Besides, you just don't go around bothering people like her. I'm uh I'm gonna go take a dip in the lake. Up, can we can we sexually harass one of these people on board? Yeah, let's get the meat <laughs> wagon moving then. Do you want to leave an officer here, sir? Just leave the tape up for a few days. Yes, sir. If you'll excuse us, sir, we'll take him away. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, too, I guess. <laughs> you leave a body, it uh, eventually disappears on Stick its own. Stick around and take notes yeah. for the book if you want. Watch out for the mud in the water. I'll be back in the station. Stop by if you want to go with Casey. So maybe at the station, uh, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a snake. It was some police line do not cross tape that was in the in the wastebasket. It's probably one of the water moccasins he's talking about. Could be. Out, out down the spot. Will these pristine banks? All right. Now the narrator decided to throw some Macbeth our way for no apparent reason. Right. <laughs> She's probably bored too. At the sight yeah. of some far bastard got to see who the food is murderer. Oh, it's murderers? Do you know the something that we don't, not a narrator? Apparently. Look, there's writing. Look at the Late writing. The it looks like the guy, the like, as he was killed, started playing tic tac toe with himself. Oh, as yeah. Far as the eye can see. There's kind of but like a little smiley it. face with its tongue sticking out. Oh, yeah, yeah. There seems to be a pattern to the lines in the sand. The police are but not very good detectives. <laughs> There's only one they, small they really do seem to be implying that all line. police are just absolute morons in right. this game. And anybody with a black leather mm. trench coat would make a better detective than the police. Well, that's just that's just obvious. That's how life works. Okay, so we took a we pressed our notebook against the sand. <laughs> it's extremely big, bloody sand. Wait, in fact, they're rocks. <laughs> lake Shore Drive runs round the entire lake. This is a particularly lonely stretch. But it's still a public room. My god, not, they had to have not a narrator in reading this like as much as the Fallout main characters in that, you know? Like, yeah, I mean, spent six weeks in the studio. I, okay, so it's large grass it's and large, large sand. Grass. I'm not really sure what that's telling us. This is even larger grass. Hmm. There are marks in the grass. As though some heavy wire. Heavy wire. It looks like it looks like a, the plumage of a peacock. With magnification, the marks in the grass. Are clear. That's why you did the it. But we are not going to show you that. In a regular mesh Something small and iridescent is barely visible. Or a peacock. Among the <laughs> it looks like. The scale of some sort. The scale of a shot and <laughs> Gabriel carefully uses the An iridescent to velociraptor killed him. <laughs> I think it's a snake scale, but it beats the hell. Maybe it's a water moccasin, Gabriel. <laughs> the banks of Lake Pontchartrain are rich but played before. I wonder if there's a way for you to get killed by a water moccasin here. Like if you walk too close to the mm. lake. Is that plague? She just told you it was. Yuck. Uh, Wait. Yuck, I'm gonna keep it apparently. <laughs> I'll just put this in the pocket of my leather trench coat. <laughs> my voluminous pockets. Alright, well, hell with that. 
Let's go back and talk with Mosley some, I guess. Because we can't talk there. That would be ridiculous. If you want to stay around and mess up the crime scene, that's fine. <laughs> I'll meet you back at the office. Make sure to leave fingerprints and DNA on everything you can. Our player has not clicked on the snake in the garbage can. I find that very distressing. Got a second, officer? <laughs> what can I do you for? I'm here to see Detective Mosley's Mosley. like, man, I hope the beignet yeah, guy didn't come while I was out of the crime scene. <laughs> Why didn't we ask him about snakes? We now can ask him about snakes. There's no reason not to ask Frick about snakes. All I know about snakes is that they're on a motherfucking plane. <laughs> Let me tell you about my snake and how nobody here wants none of that. <laughs> hey, mostly. Keep nah, saying that I as if it might be funny. There's lots of shit to click on in this room. We're gonna be here Mostly's forever. <laughs> looks a lot like his room at college. Oh, there's the hot Mostly lady cop. Was one of those yeah. Guys in his youth. I don't know why we have like marching band music for Mosley's office. That's what he's listening to. He looks like uh oh what is it one of those realtors you know? Right. Uh, Century Twenty One. Odd prince of the mall variety. Mosley's bookcase full old magazines and binders. And the next member of our 2013 graduating class. Police department memos and other didactic Didactic? <laughs> didactic blurbs. Dibs on the band name. If Gabriel knows Mosley, he's used exclusively. <laughs> oh, not an error. <laughs> so I just took a shot of blow right before that, so I got a little excited. She's really feeling her oats. Look like something <laughs> Mosley keeps around for farmers. Yep, we're gonna. What are the blue binders? God damn it! <laughs> Let us know. What is it? P so, Pizarro? Pizano? Hanging, bud. Lousy. I hate crime scenes. People are sick. But do you know that night? I'm starting to get That's that very impression. naughty language for a game in 1993. Man, yeah. I ask you about some stuff. You're the writer. Ask away. Tell me about yourself. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me about your anything at all. Thing. For the book? <laughs> sure. Why not? Okay. What do you want to know? How do you like working on the police? You think was Mark Hamill like given a character case, sketch you know to kind of <laughs> match a voice to? I don't know. It's the best place in the world to be. What are your plans for the future? Well, you know, I don't like to count my chickens before they're hatched. I plan on I counting a lot of chickens. <laughs> I have many <laughs> eggs right now. Someday. I already know the mayor, and my record is one of the best in the department. I'm sure it's just a matter of moments, mostly. Yeah, yeah, you'll see. We're really... <laughs> well... <laughs> making your life well, I busy. love marching band music. <laughs> Don't you shoot or chew do, do, or something do, like that? Do, 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 is chewing do, do, really a hobby? Do, 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 do. Yeah, I was With as often as people say frickin' in this police department, it must be really confusing for Desk Sergeant Frick. Like, there must constantly be moments where he says, What did you- Oh, you were talking to me. How's your home life? Oh, real funny, right? Why don't you just bring in some frickin' salt? <laughs> well, you know Andy left me. My home life is shit. What am I? <laughs> he's right. gonna cry. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry mostly Jesus. Just tell me anything. <laughs> there it is. Mm. Remember how we used to play monkey in the middle? Uh, like, wait. No. <laughs> I love being the cracker. <laughs> you'd act like you were gonna toss her an eraser or something. Then you'd throw it to me over her head. And we used to do it at your grand's too. Like with the remote when she wanted to watch her soap. It's fun antagonizing yep. old people. <laughs> way to pick up women in the library hall. Oh, those were the days. Wow. Just tell me anything. These guys are really you know, pathetic. My yeah. Told me I've got a little family ulcer. One of my favorite Mark Hamill moments is when he's in uh, Wing Commander. Oh, no, uh, no, I think no. it's Wing Commander 3. He gets it's to say dad. one of the options you get to choose has him say to the you kill Rafi, screw you. The only thing I know about snakes is I don't like them. That's a good thing to know That's about. That's why I always throw them away. <laughs> There's voodoo that goes on in this city. Sure. 
sure. But the voodoo stuff found at the crime scene is all fake. It doesn't have anything to do with the real stuff. I know. I asked Max. I asked Frick. It's intimidation <laughs> tactics. That's all. Oh my god, this music is driving me crazy. Oh, okay, so 20 people attend the killings. That's, uh, this is gonna be like hot fuzz. Can be, but we'd have to have a suspect in custody first, and the suspect would have to match one of the few distinct prints we have. I have to assume that Gabriel already knew all of this, so this is really kind of a weird scene here. Well, they're both looking at us, so obviously this information is all for our sake. Look, just, uh, just act like you don't know anything for the guys out there, you see? You see how they're, they're obviously mean to know. Lake Ponchar train was assessed. They murdered Lake Ponchar train? What Those bastards. No fingerprints. A few bare footprints. Found a few fibers, but not many. The weirdest one was leopard fur. Leopard fur? <laughs> leopard fur? How many <laughs> sub-menus into this conversational dialogue are we now? Around where the body was killed. <laughs> it's gonna be marks. like, tell me about leopards. <laughs> Spots. <laughs> <laughs> what, what other DNA factors can you determine? <laughs> from? Wax candles the laboratory. Also blood, feathers of chickens. Also goat's blood. And plenty of the victim's own. The victim has to bring his own goat's blood. What's the cause? As I let you play around in. The victim's heart is always ripped out of the chest and missing. We haven't located a single one. Do, do. Lovely. <laughs> Any idea what they God, do? you guys really are bad cops. <laughs> also, I mean, it's like at least 20 people are committing this crime, and they've killed like seven people, ripped out their hearts, and they're like, I don't know. The coroner says several people had heart attacks. How can they tell? Why are the S's randomly capitalized in the question? It's really driving me crazy. No one's even heard of disturbance. It's damn weird. Like they just don't want people to see. Nobody sees nothing. Know anything about the They're victims. dead, Knight. The victims are all out of town. We still don't know why. We don't know why they would not live in the wonderful oh, no. town of Nolans. <laughs> sure, no problem. We've invited their families to stay. What's the status on the status? <laughs> Let's go. We can't seem to make any progress, though. Slug is damn Walk me through your process. <laughs> What's the status on the Voodoo Murders case? Well, we just asked. Is You're it... as filled in as me. Remember when you asked? Ask him one more time. Ago? One more time. Do you know anything about the patterns around the bodies? Dun, 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 yeah, dun, weird. Dun, 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 dun. All seven victims had those little marks around. He, he must be doing pretty good as a detective. He has his own office. What, if anything, they mean. Dun, 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 Can I see the other dun, six dun, patterns? Dun, 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 sure. People like that kind of stuff, don't they? They find it Might sexy. Might make the book seem more mysterious. Go talk to Officer Gray. Tell her I said you'd see her. Oh, we get to talk to Hot Cop Lady. Yeah. Have you ever her 8-bit uh, uh, football player I shoulders? I have no hair than your hair, Knight. Let's insult him again. <sighs> his, his hair seems fine. <laughs> like, it doesn't... I mean, it doesn't look... Doesn't look terrible, I don't think. I don't get what that talk icon is. I don't know. Is it an ass? It kind of looks Excuse like an me, ass. Officer. Yes. <laughs> so, what's it like being a police? Woman? I've been thinking of the becoming a police woman. <laughs> is that sound her typing? Me, yes. Oh good, oh, we can good. <laughs> we can harass her. It had been a while since we'd sexually harassed anyone. So is that a compliment? Are you asking to borrow my dress? It's it's a compliment. Do you have a dress? It's a compliment. Oh, <laughs> That's actually a pretty good response. Thanks, 
Excuse me, officer. Yes. Can you ruffle my hair for me? I don't seem to be able to make it stick. Are you speaking to me? You, you man. Wow. Deja leave it to Beaver. I'm the police photographer, sir. You might be able to find someone around here dumb enough to get coffee for you. Guess what? You know, there's really no need to denigrate the people who get coffee for you. Excuse me, officer. Yes? What do you know about snakes? <laughs> do you have any leopard fur? What file would that be? The voodoo murder. Tell me about my father. Detective Mosley said I could see. Really? Well, if he said so. No reason to verify that. Just I tell me anything at all. <laughs> there it is. You can look at it all you want. But don't. This area with it, okay? And no photocopies either, I'm afraid. But the photocopier's right over there in case um, you're curious. Completely. Now we just gotta distract her with beignets. <laughs> it's the official police file containing the partial patterns from the oh, Don't be shy, non narrator. I know we haven't the talked to you in a while, but we still love you. <laughs> Not to leave the police station. I are they really all so dumb that they need that reminder like seven times? The police file. Oh, these are like lost Picasso. <laughs> these kind of look like the things that you get in submerged as hints. I'm done. Yeah, thanks. I knew I'd hear that quickly from you. <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> You've been feeling okay lately? You look like hell. Me? Click on the plant. You know, I can't Click sleep. Click on the plant. I'm thinking about the case and thinking about Annie. I can relate. How is Annie? <laughs> can I ask you about some stuff? Just some Just stuff. Some stuff. Maybe like snakes or leopards, Tell whatever. Me anything at all. I got those photographs you left for me. Really? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Astonishingly lifelike. Yeah, that's what I thought. Got any more ideas for photos for what? the book? I don't. A cop author photo might be nice. You and me? Together? Why not? Of course, like trying to tell me down. Oh my god, yeah, Jane okay. Jensen, like, call the police you're so horrible at writing this whole, like, banter. Yeah, like, men who insult each other, you know? Yeah. Franks, come here a minute, would you? Bring your camera. Da -da -da -da. Dun -dun -dun. Take off your shirt. Is this, I don't understand what our goal is here. I don't know either. I mean, I guess this is just like, we can do it, so what the hell? We need a picture. Uh, we'll probably need it for some, like, puzzle eight hours from now when there's, like, a crying baby. And we gotta prove to the baby that we're a police officer. Yeah. Was there anything else, Matt? Mind if I cop a <laughs> feel? one of me, an officer Frank? Gee, I don't know. Frank? Uh, um... <laughs> Just kidding, Frank. You want to get me fired for sexual harassment tonight? Oh, oh can we do this? <laughs> is, that, is that an option? Wait, people can be fired for sexual harassment? Is <laughs> there anything else, or can I let this lady go back to her dad? Hold up on a sec while I go <laughs> check my hair. God, make it fast. Oh, we're gonna steal oh, the wow, file we from really her desk. Just leave him there. Yeah, just go stealing that file. But it says clearly do not take from death. It's gonna make a theory. photocopy, silly. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Let me see that file again. I I don't know who I'm talking to. Wow. I just wanna check this machine here. Nonchalantly. I got my beignets, I don't care. <laughs> 
just gonna copy my dick while I'm here. <laughs> it actually kind of looks like Officer Frisks, Frisks, yeah, is masturbating through a hole in his desk. <laughs> <laughs> You just get in here. I was gonna say we just shoved a lot Hurry of dick up, jokes into that section, but <laughs> okay, ready. I knew where that was going. Thanks, huh? Let me know when you got it developed. Uh, Not your yeah. breasts because you're sure. 13. What? <laughs> where did that? That didn't make any sense. <laughs> Mosley, let's talk about second wave Wait, feminism. Ball, <laughs> Does it look like it? So out of shape, I'd probably have a coronary just looking at a ball. I'm out of it too. We should play something. Get back into shape. Maybe this is really just a story about them rekindling their old friendship. Are they gonna like admit that they were in love with each other back in the day, and that's why their romance lives are such failures, is because the of their latent homosexual <laughs> love for one another? I I would be so into this game if that's where it went. <laughs> Mark Hamill and Tim Curry like come out of the closet and fall in love over voodoo murders. Yeah. All right, let's go to some probably racist place. Oh my god, uh, is that uh, the guy the that's uh, Gator God uh, from Lost? I think it's Jesus Alligator. Oh, all right. The Dixieland Drugstore. Oh, Jesus. Nana Narrator is going to be going on for like seven hours here. <laughs> merchandise. Some or all which seem to be related to the practice of voodoo. The signs. Oh, you get a point for noticing a <laughs> sign. John, Lanyapi, free bottle of lover come back to me, I. Or master gambling oil with every purchase over fifty dollars. Okay, the counter's clean, buddy. <laughs> but everyone in New Orleans knows what that means. A little something sexy. A little something sexy. <laughs> Small bag made of felt and It's a disease, I can't stop, I'm sorry. Those are green green. That put a magic. No guarantees though. They might be full of bees. <laughs> Those are good for getting rid of vampires. <laughs> oh, there you go. The glass jars contain a number of things Gabriel can't identify. And wouldn't want to. So he, I, I hate intelligence. He can definitely hear her. Yeah. Because he's, like, to responding to her lines. Yep. Yeah. The this theological super hierarchy eyes. in this series is really kind of confusing. The poster reads, How will be yours when you use proper leg bus power drawing incense? That's a really catchy product Papa. name. Papa yeah. like Buzz Power Drawing Incense and Master Power Oil. I'm not really convinced that it's powerful, though. I think it would need to have power in the name. <laughs> Maybe one more time. I like Master Power Oil. That's, uh, that was used in uh, Fifty Shades, right? The dust on those boxes is older than Gabriel. Oh god. All right, let's I click an ass on him. <laughs> I mean, it kind of looks like feet, but why would feet be talked to? Wait, that's it? Now look. Now if you don't mind, oh there we go. I got a counter to clean. You want? I'll answer what I want. Can you tell me what you know about voodoo? This is a novelty shot, monsieur. Uh, tell me about snakes. Oh, damn. <laughs> What's the significance of St. John's Eve? It's the biggest night of the year. Just what tell me on? any old thing <laughs> about St. John's I Eve. Do you know yes. <laughs> what kind of... You know, like, 
No, the thin ones with a face on the front and a pointy bit at the back. <laughs> All I know is this anaconda don't want none <laughs> unless you got bonds. <laughs> what can you tell me about New Orleans? Lived here all my life, me. What? Okay. That was a strange sentence construction. Tell me about yourself. My That's name, a very Nolinian construction. <laughs> That's Cajun. Just tell me. Tell me. Or at least at That's how they I write people in Swamp kind of Thing back when he lived in LA. <laughs> 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 or, my business with you, man. Uh, yeah, LA is in Louisiana. Oh, I see. Not a lot of swamps in LA. Yeah, I don't know why I said it that <laughs> way, but that's. <laughs> Show him the dead body. Would you mind taking a look at this photograph? Caprice <gasps> Encore. Caprice Encore. What does that mean? Nothing. I didn't say anything like that. You heard me wrong, man. Wow, so Can we really do just harass people in this game. <laughs> We're just dicks. Does Show him the photocopy you made of your penis. Show the him the photocopy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you come in here asking me about this stuff, yeah? Twenty years I run a respectable curio shop in the French Quarter. That don't mean I know about dead bodies and all this business. Forget it, man. You got a point for harassing a <laughs> kindly shop owner. Hey, hey, you like it if I pull your crocodile man over? What do you think of that, huh? What do you think of that? Ah, uh, home sweet home. I knew you'd miss me, so I came back. So I came on your back? Oh, oh, joy. I got a photocopy of my penis I want to show you. <laughs> so, snakes in the trash can, snakes on a painting. Got a minute, Grace? When do we get on a plane? Snakes, 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 snakes. Do you know what Capri girl means? I think it's Japanese. No, sounds French, though. Oh, that would make more sense. Do you know anything about it? Yes! Do, 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 do. Doing a family tree, Gabriel? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. I mean, real snakes. You know, <laughs> scaly, cold blood. Run the country. A little David IQ humor there for you. <laughs> I know very little about reptiles of any kind, and prefer to keep it that way. I think there's a book on snakes around this. Oh good, we can though. find out about them okay. one page Thanks. at a time. <laughs> We're gonna, like, pick up a book, compare our scale to one page. Yeah, nope, that's not it. Put, put the, the book, book back. back. <laughs> Grab right it again. Now. Could you do some research for me? Sure. What? Snakes! <laughs> Could you see what you can find out about a woman named Malia Getty? Hmm. The name Getty sounds familiar. What well, since she's not seeing the text, oh, of course yes, it sounds familiar. There's like the Getty murders. Museum. I mean, <laughs> if you could get an address. Mm-hmm. They're murders, right? I'll see what I can find out. Anything else? Maybe some binoculars and uh, like a piton to climb a okay. tree outside a window <laughs> with. <laughs> Do you know where I can get chloroform? It's about closing time. So it is. Good night, Gracie. Oh, are we almost ready for DOS 2? Good night, Gabriel. And uh, try not to dream, okay? What? Yeah, what kind I'll of advice is right, that? Because he has bad dreams. Oh. And she knows about them. Like Hamlet. Yeah, uh, okay. I'm just trying to class the joint up a bit, okay? Right, we already had our Macbeth earlier. <laughs> right. I bet we're going to get some exciting dreams here. You don't think we get to just, like, stare at the street for the entire night? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to come back next time. For now, this is Michael T. Bradley. And J. Wilfred Neville. Thanks for joining us, everyone.